Hey everyone, it's Belzine, and in today's episode I'm doing a random eyeshadow challenge. And this one my mom picked out. Um, my eyeshadow palette is kind of actually filled with other palette, other shadows at the moment, so I couldn't use that. So I just have them laid out in front of me of what she picked. I told her to pick six shadows out. I did say five mattes, one shimmer. She ended up picking three shimmers. The shades she picked were NYX. Um, Kiss the Day, Colourpop Beach Blanket, Colourpop Saltwater, NYX Harlequin, so that one might be matte, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we also have Colourpop Lost and Found, and Colourpop Backseat. I haven't been active because I've been getting a desk, reorganize all my makeup, so that's why I haven't been filming, but I need to film some more. And I might pull other things as well to use. Um, I do want to do some like sharp lines, so I have a little bit of tape that I've been doing this on so it doesn't pull up my eyes. And let's get into it. So I'm going to start out with Kiss the Day all over the lids. All my brushes are now in a drawer, so I don't knock them over every time I want to do my makeup look. But now, I have to dig to find them. I'm just going to use this brush here from e.l.f. Just to start off with this very matte shade, which is all over. Just going to set the concealer I already laid down. I did have makeup on earlier, but I'm changing it up so I can film a video for you guys because I haven't filmed in quite some time while I was putting my room back in order. And I got my chair out of my storage unit, so I have a chair now to sit on in my room. Amazing, right? Got the ring light set up in a place where it's working. I got a tripod for my camera, and I got a microphone, but apparently my camera is the one model that does not support cam uh, microphones so I can't use the microphone that I got which is just peachy I don't know what I'm going to do with it now but can't use it so it's kind of worthless to me right now but I might save it for a different camera to film on so I could use it for that Alright, next I'm going to go in with Beach Blanket from Colourpop. I'm going to use the same brush and just put it on the end. I just build up this area before I put the tape down. I will put that down before I go into any more shadows after this one. That's mainly just because I can do this part without the tape. But the next part, I'm going to need it. I don't know roughly where to stop, but we'll go back to the shade to touch it up. And I didn't have her do this, but I'm gonna probably grab a Colourpop Jelly Munch shadow to play with as well. Alright, so next we're gonna put on the tape. It's the only tape I could find. And it just happens to be like duct tape, so I don't want to put too much on. Right, I have some issues. Alright, so just get that as even as possible to make sure it's under my eyelashes. Okay. That looks even. Gives you a momentary facelift. Now we're going to go back in with that beach blanket and kind of just make sure it's all the way diffused to that one point that we want and not missing. Okay. I'm going to go back to the first shade just to add some more blend. I'm going to build up the shadow a bit. Cue the building up montage. Okay, 
Fair enough. Uh, next. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do all these shadows. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave the purple and the pink for under the lash line. I'm going to go with this shade next. So Lost and Found on a C brush from e.l.f. Which is this very nice blue. I'm going to tap it once. We're just going to lay it down here. And it's not going to be perfect, and there's probably going to be fallout, but that's okay. We will clean it up and work with it. I'm not trying to get perfect, because I know exactly which jelly munch I'm going to think. Jelly much I'm going to dip into. It's really just because I really want to use that stuff. I just got it. And I already did a review of it on my blog. So, not doing a video on it, so I kind of want to incorporate it into this video. You know, my mom didn't pick it, but I'm just going to go around what she picked. So, bluish tone. I can't think of what its name is off the top of my head, but I am going to use the tur uh, turquoise -ish one there. I'm going to grab that one. So next, I'm going to go in with Backseat on a Morphe M330. It's like one of the few Morphe brushes I have that actually have the number on it. I'm going to keep this to the outer portion. You can see there is some fallout. I'm going to try controlling it as much as possible, but it's already under where the tape went. I'm not concerning myself with right there. If anyone was curious. I'm trying to make this look as good as possible because this is what I'm going to wear for the rest of the night. We are going out tonight, so let me make sure this is somewhat <laughs> wearable in the end. I feel like I'm taking off the lost and found as I do with this. I think I put some jelly munch there, but I feel like I'm just taking it off. Okay. This side. Holy fallout. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay. Next, we're gonna grab the jelly munch. Which I have actually done here. I'm going to put on this shade. You guys can't see that. I put on the bungalow. Which is this pretty turquoise color, which I think will go well with this look. Just gonna grab from the lid with my middle finger. This stuff you have to be very careful about because it will dry out. So, just gonna put that here. I know I wanted to not pick this shade, but I am adding it into this look. I'll add back in the lost and found in a minute. Just want to get that this jelly shade on. But I feel like it's needed. I think you can use this with a brush. I just like using my finger with it. It does dry down to a powder. Like you had wet a um, metallic brush, which I really like that effect on the eye. Okay, sealing back up this jelly munch before it starts to dry out. I want these to last for a while. 
I will make a wipe. I use to take off my previous makeup. Okay. That's a lot of follow-up. Okay. Go back in with that M330 and back seat. Just to deepen this. Make sure it's blended with that jelly. I feel like a mermaid. I like this a lot. I like this combo. With this shade and this shade. Alright, now I need to bring back in that lost and found shade since we kind of lost it because I hit it. I take a small Morphe brush. I have no idea what type of brush this is. We're gonna put it in this inner corner part right here. Alright, cleaned up. So, we have used four of the shadows. We still have these two left. I think I'm going to grab a different color for my waterline. Just pulling out my bin of things. I think I'm going to grab this one, which is Crybaby. Which is like a lavenderish color. Or a lilac color. So I'll put that in my waterline. I already have red in there, so this could look interesting. Oh good, I want some pink too. So that gives me that pinkish tone as well. Okay. There we go. I have some crybaby on. And lastly, we need to figure out how we're going to do these two shades. Um, I'm sure if I have a brush that I want to use. Oh, that one. I'll use that one. Come back here. Alright, I'm going to use this brush from Morphe. And then start dipping into that Harlequin. There's a hair. Look out that lower lash line a bit with it. I don't want to mix in with my line. Line needs to be left alone. Hi, Pixie. Pixie just walked in my room. Okay. There's that. Then I'm going to grab a small pencil brush like this. Which I did use before, so I'm just gonna clean it off real quick. And then we'll go into salt water. Quite heavily. I've had some concealer still on it, so I'm just gonna dab away the fallout. <laughs> Mix that into a bit of lost and found. Grab some more. I'm gonna tap off so we don't have that again. Gotta make sure we get that perfectly even.
And while we're still focusing on it, I don't feel like you can really tell where I had the white. So I'm going to use the other side of this brush and dip in to kiss the day and pop that in the inner corner. There we go. Alright, finishing touches. We eyeliner and we need lashes. Sorry, cut me to have mascara on. Where is my favorite? I have a new favorite and I want to use it. Where'd it go? Could use that one. My old favorite. Where's my new favorite? This is the old favorite. I could use that, but it doesn't look as nice as the new favorite. There we go. Next. Okay, ink liner. Love it. Alright. I need to cut that hair off at some point. It's like one straggler. It's bothering me. I'll reapply what I had there. In a minute. I had no choice to do that, but whatever. Right, I think good enough. I'm gonna go apply my lashes because I have terrible doing them on camera. I'll be right back. And there we go. Here's the finished look that I used creating using random colors I'm all picked for me. You guys all like it. If you guys are wondering what lashes that I am wearing, they are these ones from, I'm gonna butcher the name, Azarito. Uh, this is actually a niche indie brand. Um, they actually donate 5% of all the proceeds from their lashes to cancer research. And this is the, sh the um, lashes called Irresistible. I actually really like these. I actually do have an affiliate code with them if you guys want to get oh I'll just put all the details down below but I do get some money in return for it you get some money off I get some money back we don't for both of us and I do actually really like these lashes and I have been wearing them a lot if you guys want to check out these or any of their other ones I will leave a link to them down below as well as my code which is May 10 I'll have the info on the screen as well and then I have um, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in Chi, C H I, and this is from their Femme Rosa collection. So that's what I have on lips. And I have just some NYX blush on. It's in their Sweet Cheeks palette, and then Milani um, Ultra Sterile After Lip, After Night After Lip Highlighter. So yeah, that is what we all have on our face. I hope you guys all like this video. If you did, please give video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Hellback, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!